So this is the first time that I'm gonna try my new Polaroid camera. It, I have no idea if it's working because I um, got it from someone else online. I don't know that person so I have no idea there if it's gonna work. They have told me that they've used it and they've sent me pictures of um, some uh, some examples they've taken. And that's actually quite a good tip if you're looking for a Polaroid camera to ask if they made pictures with it, if it works, and if they can send you the pictures. But still, no guarantee if it's still working, so I'm curious. So this is the Polaroid Land Camera Supercolor 1000. And I've got it from qu for quite some time now, but I haven't uh, bought the films that you need since today. I'm going to talk more about it later. Um, so yeah, this is the camera. It says Supercolor 1000. I believe it's from the 70s or something, so it's really old. Right here you have... It's not um, a flashlight. It's what you see for, for, from here. So I guess that if you look through this and you take the picture, it will be slightly moved when the picture, the picture actually comes out. We've got the lens. I actually think I should clean that first, just to be sure. Sure, because you can see through that what the lens is going to look like, if it's good quality. Okay, next. Um, we have this little wheel that this is in the middle and it sticks right there and after that you can turn it to dark side <laughs> that probably means that if you're somewhere somewhere dark you have to can use that so you will be able to see stuff when the picture actually develops and the light part you can turn quite Far. I'm gonna put it on the first thing and I have no idea if that's good but I will let you know <laughs> and we have this button I cannot press it because it has not a battery in it or anything so you hear something moving inside but it's actually quite lightweight so I was really surprised I got this really huge box with and I was like I knew what I ordered but I didn't know that it was gonna be something so I was like oh. but inside there was this small camera I know we have smaller cameras right now but it's actually pretty lightweight it's from very hard plastic I'm sorry about that so it's hard plastic like they made it back in days and yeah this is uh, this part is quite rubbery so you won't irritate your eyes uh, it has a strap to it so you can hang around and take it with you super fancy um but there is a place right here where you can um connect the flash the flashlight to it so you will always have enough light for the picture. I don't have that and I don't know if I need it. And maybe I will buy it if I do turn out to need it. Right here there is a button that you slide. And then it opens. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. Right here you see the kind of paper you need. What is the device? What does the blue stuff say? Some shit about Polaroid. Awesome. Uh, the bottom part has some um, little gap in it. And I think we can slide it onto the stand. So, how do you call it? 
good, but I think you will know what I mean. You can slide it somewhere so it will be stable and you can take the same just same angles. Well, move. So yeah, but now, how the fuck do you use this thing? Well, I bought this. Uh, I've told you that you can push it because because there is no battery in it and it won't do anything. That comes with the paper. I've seen some videos and that's how I think I quite know this stuff, but maybe I don't. I will find out. Oh, it smells. Like, I just love about board is that um, you don't know how it's gonna turn out and you'll have to wait for it to develop and just the look of it is so cool. I mean, you have these pictures and I just love it and I, you know, really, I just thought I, I want to have this shit. So I looked online and I found something. This was 40 bucks and I believe you can get it cheaper than that. But right now I could get it cheaper, but they couldn't guarantee if it worked. So I didn't. I thought, okay, I can maybe use, uh, if I pay a little bit more for it, I know a little bit more that it has a big chance that it's gonna actually work. So, this is the flash drive. It's <coughs> like plastic, old school. This is where, you see that it's a battery. These metal things connect to the device and you will have power to it will have power so a picture can sli slide out what does it say attempt the impossible project in order to improve your work I said this side is gonna be up so this is on the back so this goes in first then you have this and I believe you have to keep it that way. This is gonna come out. This is just a layer. It's gonna come out as soon as you put it in. I, At least I hope so. Because that means it's working. So we're gonna try that soon. And underneath it is the paper. But you will have to be really careful because the paper is really sensitive to light. That's why it's covered right now, but as soon as it's, as it's in camera, it's in dark place and um, the moment it, you take the picture, light comes on the photo and it will be starting to create, but as soon as it rolls out, you still have to cover it and put it in a dark place for like 30 minutes, I believe. And then it will develop and I have no idea if it's gonna work and how it's useful to do that but I thought I would try and show you the mistakes I make so you can do better that's what I thought so we're gonna try right now I'm gonna open this up Not supposed to do it. Okay, that's it. That's good. If you're right, I have to take photos. So it came out, it's the top part. And just a black card with what I showed you first. It got a little stuck. That's what you have heard. 
it was because of this thing I think it wasn't in there correctly so it got stuck but when I pressed a button again it came out so that's good that way I hope that the other photos are not going to get stuck because that will ruin them and they are quite expensive I bought this pack I'll show you again Color SX70 so it's the white one with the white frame and color photos if you have a different one I might test some out but I don't know I think I'm gonna go for the color color frame all the time I don't know how much I'm gonna use it I hope you really like it and I'll continue doing this hobby and at the end I will collect a lot of awesome photos of awesome memories but why I want them to be the same frame is because I want to make a collage and move on right over here oh, you can see but that was the idea and as oh, the box was 20 bucks I believe 20 euros and I believe the dollars is more expensive but I don't know so now it's loaded a little bit more heavy but the photo came out, which means the battery is still working. That's just awesome. And I am gonna take the first picture. I will show you guys. I am just gonna take the picture of myself in the mirror with this camera, and I will hold it that it will turn out good. And this is the first video I think. I thought it might be a good idea to test some ways on how to use it and inside outside I don't know but that was my idea and um, after I used the first bag eight I, eight photos you can make the first bag with every bag um, but after the first bag I wanted to maybe make another video of how it's going how I like it what what goes well, what doesn't. So maybe it's smart to subscribe if you want to see that. And I'm, uh, I will show you the pictures. There's eight pictures, and I, yeah. I will now uh, show you how the first picture is gonna go. So. first photo it went pretty quickly and I could have did it sooner possible but I don't know if I did it right so what I did with the black card that came out first I put it on top and I think it might be usable but it's something to get used to and after that I put it in a drawer and now it has to with the part on top I saw that just kind of blue right now and it's gonna develop in like 30 minutes maybe a little bit more so I will show you the result and um, yeah so I'm gonna make some video right now and I'll show you the result so the last thing you saw is that I took a photo and I wanted to develop it inside my desk drawer and it turned out black, just extremely black. And I don't know what that means. Maybe I exposed it too light too much because I was it was just a mess. It came out and I wanted to cover it, but first time a little bit, little bit clumsy. So yeah, such a waste. Totally black right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a weird spot going on. It's like it's damaged and maybe that's the reason why it's black, I don't know. 
but I recently took a second photo and there is a little bit more to see it was the same one I took in the mirror but it's quite dark I put the wheel in the middle and I don't think that's okay and this time I put it against my body because I've heard that was what you're supposed to do in a pocket or I just under my shirt and for some time and did develop but it's quite dark and I believe that's because of the wheel that I said in the middle but it had to be more brightened and I still don't know what the wheel is supposed to do because uh, you have like this is the middle you feel it clicking you can turn it to the darker side and I guess that I don't know is that that photo is supposed to be a little bit a little bit more darkened or is that does it mean that you're in a dark room and in life that you need a lot of sunlight I don't know I've tried to google it but I didn't get a straight answer and yeah I will see I will take some more pictures and I will figure it out that way I guess so that's it for now so I took two pictures both quite fail but I still liked how it's developed it's a little bit uh, blurry also but I guess that's the same same stupid thing I did <laughs> so I don't know if you can uh, if you have to use it really fast or that it can uh, stay in the camera and it will be all right but I will see right now I'm not I don't see the need to um, shoot eight photos in one day 20 bucks right out I don't think I'm gonna do that <laughs> so I guess that it will be like a month or something and then I have done all the photos so I don't know and I will make another video and I will show you what the results are but right now I'm kind of bummed about the black one also the back has a lot of weird stains on it you can probably see it but it looks like there has been pressure on the back and but maybe that's it's fingerprints but I don't know if that's my fault because I touched it really lightly yeah that's my fault I'm sorry but I don't think that's why this one is ruined. I have no idea. If you do, if you know more about this, please leave it in the comments down below. Because I would like to hear more of it and uh, hear your experience with it. Maybe you've been taking photos with a camera a little bit longer than I have. And I hope that. I can do something from you and you can learn something from me. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope that I'm gonna learn soon what Polaroid camera is all about so I can tell you. Bye!